Hello, welcome to Touchstone Live Fitness. My name is Sam. Thank you so much for joining me for yoga today. And if you've practiced with me before, welcome back. We'll be doing an all levels practice today that will be shorter and with the intention of energizing the mind and the body. So I will be offering options, alternatives to certain shapes for those of you who may want or need them. And if you have a couple of yoga blocks, they might come in handy for today's practice. So feel free to grab those or whatever props you may be using at home as a yoga block. I have two here um, ready for me to, to get started. So let's go ahead and set up ourselves for this class today by setting up a seated position at the top of the mat. Feel free to prop yourself up. You can use your, one of your blocks or a blanket if you have a yoga blanket or any form of um, blanket that you can fold and place underneath your seat. And once you find your seated position, start to wiggle your sit bones back a little bit, root the tailbone down, place your hands over your knees gently with the palms either facing up or down, elongate the spine and lower the chin down slightly, and then close the eyes. Let's start to bring ourselves into our practice. Start to tune our awareness inward by focusing on our breath. Notice your breath moving in and out of your nose. And while you're breathing, settle the weight of your body down into your seat. Root, root yourself. Let your legs be heavy. Let your tailbone root deeply into the earth. And from the base of the spine, feel the length of your spine lifting upward toward the top of the head. transitioning from whatever was going on before this class started into our time, our time for ourselves, our time to reconnect, to realign physically, mentally, emotionally, in every way possible. Start drawing the palms together in front of the heart for prayer. And we'll pause here momentarily, centering the energy and invoking the spirit of the practice by sounding one collective OM together. So let's prepare for OM by breathing out of the nose, exhaling completely. Inhale. OM. Gently release your hands down, blink your eyes open. And let's start to make our way onto our backs. And you're gonna roll on back, take the knees into the chest, doesn't have to be deep, and give yourself a gentle rock side to side. Just allowing things to be pretty loose here for a moment. And notice if when you tuck your knees into your chest, if that feels really tight in your hips, anything happening in your lower back, just move the knees forward a bit and rock. And then switch from rocking side to side to gently guiding both knees in a circle in one direction with your hands over your kneecaps, just kind of letting things roll around. Now we're gonna switch the direction of the circle Very, very mellow activation of the core going on here. Maybe feeling that. 
And let's bring the knees back over the hips. We're gonna pause here. Please reach both arms back behind you. Hover them away from the floor, and if your head is on the ground, lift it slightly. And then extend both legs forward, keeping your heels hovering away from the mat. And right away, getting a lot of tremble because the core is working very hard. Plug your back into the mat. Take a big breath in through your nose. And then when you're ready, exhale the knees over the hips, place your hands right in front of the thighs, push them into each other, lift your gaze and look over yourself. Like you're trying to see the mat on the other side of your body. On your next inhale, we're gonna do that again. Lengthen, reach the arms back, straighten the legs forward, hovering. Exhale, bring the hands onto the thighs as the knees move toward the hips, and then look up and over, lift your shoulders. Three more times, inhale, lengthen the legs, reach the arms back. Exhale, press the hands into the thighs, knees over the hips, and then really rounding the back. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, bring it in. Push your hands and thighs into each other. Inhale, straighten the legs, reach back. Last time, exhale, knees over the hips, push your hands and thighs into each other and lift your head, lift your shoulders. On an inhale, or whenever you want, just relax your head and put your shoulders back down on the ground. Bring the legs together, but keep your knees over your hips and set your arms out side to side. Wiggle your shoulder blades onto your back. Turn the palms to face up. If you need more support for this, you can always turn the palms down toward the ground, which gives you a little bit of help um, as we go into some, some twisting in the core. Okay, so palms up or down, palms up again is just generally a little bit easier or a little bit harder. Okay, so we're gonna start with the knees over the hips first. Feel your back pressing into the ground. So it's like you're pulling the two front hip points and the bottom ribs toward each other. Keep that and then guide your knees over to the right. We're gonna hover away from the floor. Use an inhale to lift your knees back up. Exhale your knees over to the left. Do your best to keep your shoulders pinned to the ground, especially on the opposite side. Inhale your knees back up and exhale your knees down to the right. Inhale your knees back up, exhale your knees down to the left. Inhale to lift. Exhale, twist, knees to the right. Push the left shoulder down. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, your knees to the left. Inhale to the middle, exhale, down to the right. Inhale to the middle, exhale, down to the left. Keep hovering. Inhale, draw the knees back up and pause. And then rock the weight of your body up and down the length of your mat. And just do this a few times until you feel like you are gaining enough momentum to come all the way up to stand on your feet. And you can always just press up. You don't have to do this without your hands. You rock back, come all the way up to stand, and we'll meet in mountain pose, Tadasana. When you are up onto your feet, please find your way into a neutral position in the feet, feet apart about as wide as the sit bones, toes pointing forward, arches of the feet lifting, and the base of the big toe mound, the base of the inner heel, the base of the pinky toe mound, and the base uh, not the base, but the outer heel. All four corners are rooting. Turn the palms to face the front of your mat space. Roll the shoulders back. Take the sit bones toward the heels and rock the weight just a few times forward and back to feel your body establish its grounding. To wake up that connection that we have very organically when the feet touch the ground and we're able to really feel ourselves touching the ground, right? That wakes us up in a whole new way. We get contact with the earth and that informs the body. So rock the weight back and forth. This is really, really great for the spine and the communication that it has with our body touching the ground. And then start to find a more balanced 
weight where both the heels and the balls of the feet are steady. Breathe in and out of your nose. Checking to feel that the kneecaps are unlocked. Yeah, so we don't want to lock out the kneecaps here. And then while we're standing in Tadasana, we're going to do a little bit of breath work, kind of cleansing and also empowering the body. So you're welcome to keep your hands at your sides. You can also place your hands on your hips. If it feels more comfortable, you can bend your knees and place your hands gently over your thighs, right? Not grabbing onto anything, really just allowing this to be a light prop. We want our legs and, uh, and our core to be working more. Okay, so the way that this breath work exercise uh, will go, we're gonna inhale through the nose and puff up the belly. And when we exhale, we're gonna make an O shape with our mouth and almost as if you are lightly coughing and clearing your throat, we'll use that as our way of exhaling. So it'll sound and look like this. And there will be also this more, um, let's call it uh, an active push out for the air to release out of the body. Yeah, so I'm inhaling through the nose, filling up a little bit quicker than usual in our yoga practice where we're like taking these slow breaths. And, and when you inhale, once you're full, you're just gonna let the air out. So let's try that. We're gonna do that five times, okay? Pick the position that you would prefer to be in. Feel free to stay there. Five rounds of our cleansing and awakening breath. Exhale completely out of the nose. Inhale through the nose and exhale out of the mouth. One more. And then inhale through the nose. Exhale slowly out of the nose. Just a couple of breaths. If you bent your knees and you leaned forward slightly, just come back up to stand in mountain pose. Hopefully we've started to generate some heat inside of the body as well. And then we're gonna to begin to move into our sun salutations from here. So we're gonna do um, three rounds of sun salutations, but twice so that we can switch the way that we're moving our feet. And as we do them, um, feel free to advance anything that you'd like or modify anything that you'd like. My instructions will all be guidance so that we can progress through the sequence and so that everyone has options. Okay. So standing at the top of your mat in Tadasana, keep the feet grounded and with an inhale, take the arms up overhead. Exhale, unlock the knees, fold. Bring the fingertips either to the ground or to the blocks. Just this once, inhale and come up halfway. Pausing to lengthen the legs, you can use hands on blocks or use hands on the shins, knees, or thighs. With your next exhale, fold. Fingertips next to the heels, step your left foot back, take a long lunge. Feet can be wide here, they don't have to be lined up with each other. Notice the right knee, stack it on top of your heel. And then lower the left knee down, point the left toes back, pause. Feel free to use blocks under the hands here so that you can press your palms directly into the ground. And as you press down, feel for your right foot, the top of your left foot, both hands, energizing by pressing into the ground. Please roll your shoulders back. Feel free to lunge forward more if that feels okay. And then inhale to come out of the shape, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, and step the right foot back into plank pose, top of a push-up. Hold here for a moment. Please take a breath in through your nose. Exhale, lower the knees. Lift the hips and lower the heart, and then the chin. Elbows in at your sides. Point the toes, inhale, cobra, lower the hips and belly, draw the shoulder blades in on the back. 
Exhale, tuck the toes, press up and back to downward facing dog. Giving ourselves a few rounds of breath here. And this first sun salutation will be our, kind of our slowest. Feet apart as wide as the sit bones. Toes pointing forward, which means more that the big toe is turned ever so slightly in. Please do your best to press your hands deeply into the ground, energize your arms. Bend the knees if you need to, lifting the hips high over the heels. And let's switch sides in our lunge, start to look forward, inhale and step the left foot up next to your left thumb. Set up your blocks if you need to. Line up your left knee over your heel and then lower the back knee down to the ground, point the toes back. Plant your palms firmly onto your props or onto the ground. And then with strength in the legs, roll the shoulder blades in toward each other. Open your heart forward and take one more breath in through the nose. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee and step your right foot forward, pausing in a forward fold. Place your hands onto your shins, knees, or thighs. Inhale and come up halfway, shoulder blades engaged on the back. With an exhale, fold. Please allow the head to release. Keep the feet steady and the knees unlocked. Inhale, rise, arms overhead. Please use your legs. Exhale, draw the palms together in front of the heart for prayer. Again, inhale, sweeping the arms up. Exhale, bend the knees and fold. This time, place the fingertips back by the heels and step the right foot back. Lower the back knee down, plant the palms, point your back toes and open your heart forward. I'm using blocks for this one. <laughs> it helps me get a little bit higher. You're rolling the shoulder blades in. Also, I get help with the blocks for that. Okay, tuck the back toes, lift your back knee, step back to plank pose, top of a push-up. Heels over the balls of the feet. One inhale at the top of plank. Strengthen the thighs. Exhale, lower the knees, hips high, elbows in, lower chest, followed by chin. Toes back, inhale, curl forward, Cobra Bhujangasana. Exhale, downward facing dog, press up and back. Breathe. Strong through the arms and the legs. Inner edges of the feet pressing down, even if the heels don't make it. Outer edges of the feet pressing down, even if the heels don't make it. Okay, let's switch sides. Inhale, step the right foot forward. Lower the back knee down, plant the palms, point your back toes back, press down into the ground. And as you do that, feel how that supports you in opening yourself up and creating a little bit more height. On your next breath, tuck the back toes. Inhale to lift the back knee, exhale to step forward into a fold. Bend the knees and inhale, sweep the arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, gather the palms, lower the thumbs in front of the heart for prayer. Inhale, sweep the arms back up toward the sky. Exhale, bow forward, fingertips to the ground or the blocks. Please step your left foot back, setting up a long low lunge. Again, lowering the back knee to the ground, pointing the toes back or tucking them if that feels better. This time we'll strengthen the thighs. Inhale, sweep the arms up toward the sky, Anjaneyasana. Please relax your shoulders, widen your hands apart, and draw strength into the outer hips, bringing the energy inward, kind of like you're trying to squeeze the midline. Feel free to arc back if it feels okay, only going as far as feels right. And then use your next exhale, lower the hands, tuck the back toes, step back to plank pose, pausing at the top. Okay, feel free to move through the vinyasa the same way we did for the last rounds of sun salutations. Otherwise, this time option to lower the knees down to the ground and keep the body in this modified plank, firming the thighs, firming the belly. 
On your next exhale, hug the elbows in, lower down, pausing about halfway, and then all the way to the ground. Toes back behind you, inhale, lift the chest for cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, press up and back, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. On your next inhale, step the left foot forward, setting up your low lunge. Right knee down to the ground. Engage both of your legs. Inhale the arms up toward the sky, pausing for just a couple of breaths. Keep the weight down into the feet, so keep making that very conscious connection from whatever is touching the ground into the ground underneath you so that you can receive that feedback. Lean back slightly, shoulder blades are moving in. Feel the thoracic spine arch, but keep the tailbone moving down. And then slowly lower the hands, tuck the back toes, inhale to step up, pause, and adjust the feet if needed as you fold, letting the breath out. Anchor both of your feet, bend the knees a bit, inhale, sweep the arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, palms together in front of the heart, pausing in prayer. Same version of sun salutation, just switching um, which side we step back with first. Inhale, sweep the arms up when you're ready. Exhale, bend the knees, bow forward. Inhale to look up, step the right foot back, setting up your Anjaneyasana. Set up as long of a lunge as feels right, lower the back knee, breath in, reaches the arms up. Exhale, lower the hands down, tuck the back toes, step back to plank pose, top of a push-up. Start to connect to the options that you have already and find what feels best. Let's take one more breath in here. Exhale, knees to the ground, engaging through the legs, elbows in, coming down about halfway and then lowering to the ground. Point the toes back, engage your legs, inhale, lift your heart, cobra, bhujangasana. Exhale, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. On an inhale, step the right foot forward, realigning in your Anjaneyasana. Lower the back knee, point the back toes, strong through the thighs like you're pulling your inner thighs toward each other. As you do that, inhale, sweep the arms up. Any back bend here that feels appropriate. Exhale, lower the hands, tuck the back toes. Inhale to step up, pause here, let your exhale out. Bend the knees slightly, ground into the feet. Inhale, sweep the arms up toward the sky. Exhale, palms together in front of the heart. Last round of sun salutations, and we'll change the standing posture one more time. Inhale to sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, bend the knees and bow forward. Please inhale and step the left foot back for warrior one. Setting up a, as long of a stance as feels right for you and as wide of a stance as feels right for you. Okay, stack the right knee over the heel, spin the left heel down and find about a 45 degree angle in the back foot, turning the toes toward the top left corner of your mat. And you do have the option of taking a lunge with your back heel lifted, yeah? So you can do this pose with the back heel lifted. We usually call this crescent lunge, but it is a variation of warrior one. So either the back foot is down, toes turning in and up, or the back heel is lifted. Okay, find your shape, engage your legs, inhale, sweep the arms up. Let's take a few breaths here. Your lunge does not have to be super deep, but do feel your feet grounding down. Inner edge of the right foot pressing into the mat, outer edge of the left foot pressing into the mat. On your next exhale, lower the hands, lift the back heel if it's needed, step the right foot back into plank pose, pause. Okay, hips are not falling, hips are not lifted high. We're keeping them right about right about shoulder height. Okay, if that's not happening, that's okay. Lower the knees to the ground. Okay, from here, option to take the first variation of our vinyasas or the second variation of the vinyasas, or you can keep the knees lifted. On your next exhale, elbows hug in, 
Lower down about halfway to Chaturanga. Use the knees if you need to. Inhale to either Cobra or Upward Facing Dog if that's feeling appropriate for the body today. Exhale, tuck the toes. Press up and back, Downward Facing Dog. And really what I meant to say instead of if it feels appropriate for the body today, um, what that really, um, what I really meant to say was if that feels appropriate for the body right now. All right, we always want to be checking in. Let's switch sides in our warrior one. Inhaling the left foot forward. Come up onto the fingertips, use your blocks if you need to, and set up the back foot in whichever variation of this pose you're feeling like taking right now, whatever works for your body. Turn the right toes in and up. Feel the back heel actually on the ground. If it's not there, shorten your stance, maybe widen your stance, maybe use the other option. And with the feet steadily pressing into the, into the ground, let's engage both legs. Inhale, sweep the arms up toward the sky. Right hip moving forward, left hip moving back. And really doing our best to travel the tailbone down while lifting the sternum up. Let's take our last breath here. On an exhale, lower the hands, lift the back heel. Step your right foot forward, pause in a fold. Bend the knees, ground the feet, inhale, sweep the arms up toward the sky. Exhale, gather the palms together in front of the heart. One more time, that same sun salutation. Inhale, sweep the arms up, Urdhva Hastasan. Exhale, bow forward over the legs, Uttanasana. Inhale and step the right foot back, setting up warrior one, Virabhadrasana one. Either variation, engage the legs, inhale, sweep the arms up, pause for a full breath. And on an exhale, hands down to the mat, step back, pause and plank pose. Finding the variation of our vinyasa that we're gonna practice. One more inhale at the top of plank. Exhale, elbows into the sides, lower down, either chaturanga, knees or the mat. Inhale, feel free to take cobra, feel free to come up to upward facing dog. Exhale, tuck the toes, press up and back, downward facing dog. And then we'll inhale, stepping the right foot forward. One more time, Virabhadrasana one. Find your version. Push down into the ground. Inhale, rise up, pause. Take a full breath in and out of the nose. On an exhale, lower the hands. Come all the way back up to the top of the mat. Uttanasana, forward fold. Steady the feet, bend the knees. Inhale, sweep the arms back up toward the sky, standing tall. Exhale, palms together in front of the heart. And then hands down at your sides. Let's meet back in Tadasana. And just feel free to close your eyes here and observe the body. Observe the energy of the body. Notice any shift in the energy that you feel. Okay, we're gonna stay in standing, but do make sure that your kneecaps are still unlocked here. Inhale to sweep both arms back up toward the sky, and then grab onto your left wrist Lift it up and lean over to the right. With all four corners of both feet pressing into the ground, start to let your left hip move to the left a bit so we get more of a stretch on the left side of the body, but make sure you're not bending back or bending forward. And pull on that left wrist a bit more. And as you pull on your left wrist, right, feel the left side of the body elongate. Let's inhale to come back up to stand. Switch sides, grab onto your right wrist. Lift yourself up. Relax your upper shoulders and lean slightly to your left. Maybe you're going more than slightly and that's fine. Maybe you're going, um, you're going even 
less into a side bend than I am. That's also fine. Again, we're gonna let the right hip press over to the right a bit without lifting the left foot, keeping the sides of the waist engaged. And then inhale to come all the way back up to stand and then exhale to fold forward. Soften the knees here. We're gonna hold Uttanasana for a few breaths. So the fingertips or the palms can be on blocks, just under the shoulders. You can also maybe piece finger around your big toes, latch on. Option to grab onto your heels. I like to really bend my knees when I'm reaching back, especially if I'm feeling any of this running through the backs of the legs uh, in kind of like a really tight stringy way. Energy in the back of the knees or sensation there rather. Right, another option is to place the balls of your feet on the palms of your hands, turn the palms upside down and place your hands underneath your feet for that. We're gonna be here for two more breaths. Whatever variation you're in, please just breathe in it. And then start to take your gaze forward. We're gonna bend the knees deeply, lift the heels, lower your hips down onto the ground. And then from here, I'm gonna swing my hands back behind me move my hips back, make some space between my heels and my hips, and set up for reverse table. Look at the toes, point them forward, and then set up your hands beneath your shoulders slightly behind you, turning the fingertips toward the hips. Okay, ground your feet into the mat, press deeply into your hands, and on an inhale, you're gonna lift your hips, but imagine driving them forward towards your knees. And as you come up, really strengthening the thighs, breathing into the belly, engaging through the hamstrings, press your heels down. And if you'd like, you can let the head go, but you don't have to. Let's take one more breath here. And then start to lower the hips, sit up tall, and then drag your right heel back towards your hip, stretch your left leg forward out in front of you. Okay, please uh, feel free to sit on top of a block or on top of a folded blanket. Um, if you have a bolster at home, you can sit on top of that as well. If you need to, to get your hips to elevate, to make this a little bit easier in the, in the length of the spine, especially down at the lower back. All right, if you're feeling any rounding going on, um, any feelings like you're kind of falling backwards away from your legs, um, elevate the hips. I'm gonna do the same for myself. And when you prop up onto whatever you're sit, uh, seated on, feel for the front edge so that it feels like you're really tipping forward and the front of your pelvis is tipping forward a bit. All right, we don't wanna stick our butt all the way, just a little bit of that rock forward for those of us who might get a lot of rounding the opposite direction when we sit down flat on the ground. Okay, pull your heel as close to your right sit bone as you can on the right side. Look at the left toes, spin them up to face the sky, activate your toes, activate your foot, and then inhale the right arm up toward the sky. And as you exhale, start to lean forward towards your right thigh, place your right elbow inside of the knee, and then send your left fingertips back behind your hip. Sit up tall and twist to the left. And you can use your left fingertips or palm, whichever's down, and you can press yourself both forward and up to stay nice and tall. And soften things here through the waist, through the belly, through the back. Send your breath behind you as you inhale. Maybe twist a little bit deeper as you exhale. On an inhale, we'll come back to the middle. Stretch your right leg out, drag your left heel back. 
heel as close to the sit bone as you can draw it back comfortably and while still keeping the heel on the ground. Okay, and then we're gonna pull ourselves in here, sit up tall. Right knee stays unlocked. Right toes turn up toward the sky. We're keeping our foot pretty active. I'm spreading apart the toes and curling them back, flexing. And while we do that, we'll inhale, lengthen by lifting the left arm and feel for the left side of the body to get longer. So the left hip moves down as the left armpit moves up. Then I'm going to kind of, it's almost like I'm folding. I'm gonna fold in a little bit. Left elbow goes inside of the left knee. Doesn't have to be super deep because we're gonna come back up to sit tall. So start to move your right hand behind you, fingertips or, or the palm if that works out. And then start to ground down lift up, twist to the right. And while you're taking on this twist and you're breathing, press the big toe mound of your right foot forward. Just a bit. Lengthen from the bottom of the spine all the way up to the top of the head. And then inhale to come back to the middle. And as you untwist, if you're sitting on a prop, go ahead and move it out from underneath you. Start to make your way down onto your back. Anchor both of your feet flat. Take a couple of breaths while also wiggling the shoulder blades in a little bit maybe scooting the tailbone forward a little bit. And let's take a couple poses before we rest. Start to cross your right ankle over your left knee without lifting the left hip. Open the right knee by pressing the right hand into the thigh. And if you'd like, you can lift your left foot, interlace your fingers behind your left thigh. And then we'll gently release the hands, lower the left foot, and then switch sides. Right foot meets the ground, left ankle over the right. Left ankle over the right thigh is totally what I meant. And then feel for your hips to be grounded. Feel for the flat bone at the bottom of your spine that's kind of shaped like a triangle. It's called your sacrum press it into the ground. You might notice that you're tipping from one side to the other when you go to press the left knee forward. That happens pretty commonly. And most commonly, if you're pushing the left knee forward, then you'll maybe lean to the left. So keep the right hip heavy. Either stay here or lift the right foot. Deepening the pose is not important. It's only an option. Please take one more breath here. And then gently release your hands, lower the right foot. And let's cross the right thigh over the left thigh all the way. So you're gonna completely cross your legs. Inner thighs are touching. And once you find that, we're going to lower both knees down onto the left side you might use your left foot to help you wiggle the hips over to the right if that feels like it's needed. Set the arms out, option to look straight up or to look over at the right hand, which you do not have to do, by the way. You never have to look all the way over in your twists, right? You can always keep your gaze more neutral. Soften the body here, soften the belly to allow for release. And then we'll lift the knees back up, take a breath in, squaring the hips. Let's take both legs in the same position to the right side.
This time you'll either keep your gaze straight up or over to the left hand. Let's inhale the knees back up. Pause to switch your legs, left thigh on top of the right. I'm gonna place the right foot down and scoot my hips over to the left first and then lower the knees down to the right side. And continue to soften the belly here. No more drawing of the navel toward the spine. No more embracing our organs with our core. Inhale, send your knees up. Move the hips to the right if you'd like and lower the knees down to the left. So all of this really is to just give us any um, release that we need. And then inhale the knees up. Center the weight of the hips, float the knees up and out, and take a happy baby. As you reach for your legs, right, do your best to keep your back flat. Broaden the shoulders, or broaden the chest more. Shoulders packing in and down. Let's take one more breath. And then draw the legs in, release your hands, and come down into Shavasana, which we'll spend just a minute or so in together. Totally remembering here that rest is part of our uh, vitality. It's part of how our energy is balanced. So let's let the weight of the body go and allow the body to completely make contact with the ground underneath it. And just receive from the ground. And start to wiggle the fingers and the toes gently. Roll the ankles and the wrists. On an inhale, send the arms up and back behind you, lengthening out. Give yourself a long stretch. A deep breath. And then as you exhale, bend your knees, flatten your feet, start to rock onto one side and just pause there for a moment. And we'll keep the eyes closed. Press up using your hands and your arms to come all the way back up to sit. And we're gonna meet where we started, bringing our practice full circle and bringing the palms together in front of the heart in prayer, allowing ourselves to seal in this practice. My hope is that we feel more energized in our minds and our bodies, our hearts, and our spirits. May that lift us into the rest of our day. May that support us in feeling like we are able to make all the connections possible that we need to and want to. And may that help us enjoy our day a little bit more. Let's close our practice with the sound of one ohm. Please exhale all of the breath out of the nose first. Inhale through the nose. Oh. 
Gently bow the head. Thank you so much for joining me for today's class. I do hope that we feel more energized. Um, feel free to come back to this practice anytime you'd like. Um, it's a good one for breaking up your day and, and getting some movement and some circulation into whatever you have going on, um, you know, from the start to the finish of the day. If you have any questions about the practice today, feel free to leave them in the comments. You can stop and say hello as well. And I hope to see you for the next class. Have a really great rest of your day.